I do like working on a problem. The, the building aspect of actually like constructing something, how it fits together, the design part of it. I will work at it until I get, get an answer for it. My name is Joanna Donegan Edwards and I'm studying engineering and education at UCL. Currently I teach in a, an all-girls secondary school from ages 11 to 18. I love physics and I love teaching physics. I think, first of all, it's the unpredictability. You never know what questions they're going to ask or how they're going to behave or what they're going to be doing. I've got two roles in school. One of them is I'm responsible for teaching and learning and making sure that the teaching and learning is adequate in the school. And my other big role is STEM, science, technology, engineering and maths. There are so many apps that are designed that are all based around male, male height, male weight. Seat belts, as an example, they're designed around a specific male figure. So we need females to be engineers in order for them to start making products that are suitable for females. If we readdress that balance, it can start being engineering for all rather than fitting to one particular stereotype. The programme allows me to undertake research into this area and see how it can then impact on the teaching that we're delivering. You're surrounded by the top engineers plus working with the Institute of Education. You get a huge amount of support when you're studying here. I can always contact a lecturer or somebody to help me with any of my work. Because you're exposed to so much research, because of the lecturers that are coming in, you can then take that into the classroom as a direct relation. You don't just get taught by the same lecturer every week you have lots of guest speakers come in. And one of the ones that was excellent was Louise Archer, because I was already aware that there was an issue with the number of females entering engineering, but she was able to inform me about the way that we can tackle it. For my dissertation, I'm looking at outreach programmes from engineering firms that they deliver in schools and how good they are how much they promote not only students into engineering, but also particularly females. Are they targeting females? As a direct result of my studies, I hope to be able to advise on programmes that are able to encourage more females into engineering. So the reason you teach is you know, to get that feel-good feeling at the end of the day that you've inspired someone, you've made a difference to someone's life, working with them and inspiring them, and then seeing them, how they develop and how they grow.